my name is Leon Skeliotis, and I hope you enjoy this webinar on Flavortech and its technologies as used in the wine industry. Flavortech is an Australian-based company that is located in a town called Griffith, approximately six and a half hours drive west of Sydney. Griffith is one of the food bowls of Australia and produces 40% of Australia's grapes and 40% of Australia's citrus, as well as many other products in the area. And the reason we are based here is due to the fact that our core technology, the spinning cone column, was originally developed for the wine industry. Since the early 80s, we have developed other technologies that are used for distillation, evaporation and extraction in many other industries around the world and keep growing our company and our business based on the fact that we produce high quality products for our customers. The town of Griffith has our head office manufacturing and pilot plant facility. And as you will see, we are all around the world. Flavortech produces innovative processing technologies based on the concept of spinning cones. Spinning cones produce a centrifugal thin film that allows us to use short residence times and low temperatures and focus on producing quality products. Um, our evaporator, for example, has a heat contact time of only one second on the product and temperatures for evaporation of 50 degrees or less. Our customers keep coming back to us because we're focused on their business and producing high quality products for them that allows them to differentiate their products and produce market leading products. In fact, 30 to 40% of our business each year is customers returning to us because their business is growing based on this quality focus. We think and act globally and we are all around the world. And the other thing we do is focus on the natural aspects of the products that are being processed. And the best way to do that is of course to apply as little heat as possible and to apply as short a residence time as possible to produce those high quality natural products. We have been recognized by the Australian government and in 2017 and 2018 were, national, uh, were state winners of the manufacturing category from the Export Council and the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. In fact, in 2018, we were the national winner of the manufacturing category, beating many large defense companies in our export of our technologies around the world. We focus on six key industries. And it's probably highly likely that you have tried some of our products, whether they be food or beverages, um, in the past that have been processed through Flavortech technologies. In the coffee and tea industry, um, highly likely if you're based in the US that one of the ready to drink tea beverages, iced tea beverages that you've drunk has been processed through the spinning cone column. Our spinning cone column is also the equipment of choice for flavor recovery in the instant coffee industry. And if you've been to Japan, a lot of the canned coffee is actually produced on our turnkey solutions, our integrated extraction system that uses several of our technologies together to make a full processing line. In the dairy industry, our spinning cone column is used to remove undesirable notes from milk, whereas our evaporator is used to concentrate milk products. The alcoholic beverage segment is where we started with the spinning cone column back in the late 70s and early 80s. And we'll talk about more of that through this presentation. But our other technologies like our centrotherm evaporator and our rotating disc column is used in the pharmaceutical industry to retain active ingredients, natural colors. And in the flavor industry, flavor houses all around the world are using our spinning cone column to produce natural flavors with the full light varietal notes of those, of those products that they're processing in the aroma compounds that they're removing. We are all around the world. Um, for over 25 years, we have had a pilot plant facility and office at the University of Reading in the UK. We have transportable units there that we send all around Europe to conduct trials and rentals at customer facilities. Um, over 90% of our products are exported out of Australia. So to support this, we have agents and distributors all around the world to help us with language barriers and freight issues, 
um, as they arise um, on site there at the cust uh, in the customer country. In America, we have a, a very good distributor called Scan American, who's based on the Missouri side of Kansas City. Scan American Corporation has been around for over 40 years and are based in Kansas City, Missouri. They have been dealing with food and beverage companies in that time and have put together a purpose-built facility. They have an excellent sales and service team looking after all our US customers and carry most of the spare parts that are required for service work of our equipment. Their pilot plant facilities also allow them to conduct trials, whether it be on site at their facility or at the customer's site anywhere in the US. In the wine industry, we have various technologies that are used to assist wine companies produce a better product. Our core technology, the spinning cone column, is used for alcohol adjustment of wine to produce low alcohol products up in the 5 to 8% ABV range and to produce wine products at less than 0.5% ABV. It has been used for over 30 years in various countries that include Spain, Portugal, France, Europe in general, um, the US. We have a very good contractor that for the last 30 years has been using the Flavortech spinning cone column to produce zero alcohol wines and also alcohol adjustment. They're based on the west coast of the US and have been working with many wineries for a, a long time. But lately what we've seen is a real focus on the less than 0.05% ABV range. And to achieve that, we have developed a new technology called the resin adsorption column um, that we'll talk about shortly. The spinning cone column can also be used to reconcentrate alcohol uh, and produce alcohol levels of greater than 7% ABV. We also have another technology called the centrotherm evaporator, which is used for grape juice concentration that we'll talk about shortly. The spinning cone column was developed back in the late 70s and was used by Flavortech to remove alcohol and to, from wine and to desulfite grape juice. It is quite a unique technology in that it has centrifugal forces by using spinning cones and in a very short period of time of only 30 seconds can remove the volatiles that are in the liquid product. Now that liquid product can be a clear liquid such as wine or milk or can it be more viscous product like fruit pulp or grape skins or even slurries, so tea leaves mixed with water. It is used around the world in the coffee industry, in the alcohol removal industry. Um, and in fact, it's not just alcohol removal from wine, it's also used for alcohol removal from beer, from cider and from kombucha. It has a central rotating shaft uh, with spinning cones attached to the shaft, creating that centrifugal force. And it also has uh, stationary cones that are fixed to the walls, creating a thin film as the liquid starts at the top of the column and runs down, while in the opposite direction, we have steam vapors that pick up the volatiles and take them out to be condensed. Now, all of this is done at very low temperatures under vacuum, so the product is protected and it also allows us to control various operating parameters to produce different flavored products based on the requirements of the customer. This picture that's just come up is the type of product in, in the ready to drink tea market that can be processed through the spinning cone column. And in fact, that is a green tea slurry. So it's water with green tea leaves that, are, that has been already processed through the spinning cone column and de-aromatized. No other system can really capture the natural aromas like the SEC can, and that's why it's one of the core technologies that's used by most flavor houses around the world to capture natural flavors. To give you an idea of how the spinning cone column is used in the wine industry, uh, I'd like to present a case study of a company called Rot Caption Mum, based in Germany. They are one of the big four wine producers in Germany and had for many years produced an alcohol alcohol-free sparkling wine product using a toll processor. 
that was using a different technology. However, they were finding that the low alcohol market segment was growing and they wanted to see what they could, what other technologies were around to bring that process in house. They conducted trials with the spin cone column and were delighted with the results and decided to purchase a spin cone column when they set up their dealking facility in house. Rock Caption Mum installed the spinning cone column system in 2015, transferring all of their production from the packed column toll processor system that they were using to the spinning cone column, which was about 70% of the spinning cone column's capacity. In 2017, their sales department reported a 24% increase in sales, which they attributed to the improvements in the flavor of their products. Now I'd like to introduce you to our global sales manager, Paul Arn, that will go into more detail on how the spinning cone column, resin absorption column can assist you in producing high quality, zero alcohol products using low temperatures and short residence times. Well, let's dive straight into the applications of wine adjustment the production of 0.5% or less ABV wine products, as well as the production of 0.05% or less ABV wine based products as well. Let's look at the process in a bit more detail. The dealkalization step begins with the feed material, the, the feed wine being introduced into the spinning cone column where we capture the aroma, what we call the aroma strip. This occurs at a very gentle, with a gentle, very gentle process of 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. The de-aromatized wine is fed into another spinning cone column where we capture the alcohol at a slightly elevated temperature of 35 to 45 degrees Celsius. Again, overall, a very gentle process. The de-aromatized and also de-alkalized wine is then uh, fed into a blend tank where the original aroma captured up front is then blended back. This whole process, as you can see, is under a gentle temperature. The wine through the spinning cone column is only 30, has only a 30 second residence time or what we call a heat contact time. So it is quite gentle uh, in the overall process. Let's look at alcohol adjustment and finding that sweet spot. Now, we only dealkalize a portion of the bulk wine. So it's based upon the start and target ABVs and you blend back the dealkalized wine to the bulk wine to get that sweet spot. Alcohol adjustment also includes going down to 0.05% or less or 0.05% or less. Flavortech has solutions for both while retaining the original wine aroma of the product. We are seeing a, a shift in the market to 0.05% ABV product. And, and so therefore, Flavortech has a new technology developed. It's called the Resin Adsorption Column or short RAC to separate the aroma from the alcohol in the aroma alcohol stream. Let's look at this in a bit more detail. Wine is processed through the spinning cone column at 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. But remember, it only stays inside the spinning cone column for less than 30 seconds. The aroma alcohol strip enters the new technology, the resin adsorption column, where it separates the aroma compounds from the alcohol, the uh, aroma is then added to the de-aromatized de -aromatized wine from the spinning cone column to produce a full flavored, fully dealkalized wine through the spinning cone column and also the resin absorption column. So the benefits of the resin absorption column is that the final product uses the original flavor from the wine itself and no external flavors are required. The RAC is complementary to the SEC, or if you have uh, other alcoholic liquids that you want to separate from the aroma, uh, the uh, resin absorption column will be ideal. The manufacturer, we manufacture 
the RAC to meet the feed capacities uh, of the SEC, or if you have other vo uh, volumes they're looking at, we can manufacture as well. Now, over the many years, there have been studies by many research institutes about the alcohol removal from wine of more than 3% uh, volume and volume. They have found that the spinning cone column to be superior than competing technologies such as other distillation columns, such as pack columns, membrane systems, and vacuum evaporation. Let's look at the other technology that Leon has mentioned, which is in the central therm evaporator, and in this particular case, the grape juice concentration. The central therm is a unique thin film spinning cone evaporator that's used throughout the wine industry to concentrate grape juice. What's unique about it? Well, it's only one second heat contact times, so that is gentle to your final product. The other benefits of the central therm evaporator is that it has a low holdup volume and it's very easy to use. The key benefit, as I mentioned before, is that it has one second heat contact time and is the reason why it is being used in the, in the wine industry because of the gentle process, it doesn't produce the jammy notes of other evaporation systems. As mentioned before, uh, we do conduct polar plant trials. This is a picture of our Griffith plant in Australia, but we also have plants in Reading, United Kingdom, in Kansas City, USA, where we are happy to conduct trials of wine dealkalizing. We support our customers all around the world with our total care plans where we offer technical support, service support, uh, as well as extended warranties. So to conclude, Flavortech assists customers all over the world to differentiate their products from the competition based upon quality. Our customers grow uh, from the many benefits of our products, such as the spinning cone column, the resin adsorption column, and the central therm evaporator, to process gently the, the product and while maintaining the, the flavors that are so important. Our technologies are continuous, as I mentioned, gentle and easy to use. It is the choice all around the world by wineries and winemakers, Flavortech, a natural choice.